Hello everyone, it's Scott here and welcome to this next lesson. In this lesson we're going to actually, before we set up the, the looking controls for our character, we're just going to set up a fluid camera system so that the camera will actually follow our player. So there are two ways of going about this. Um, the, the, easy, the easiest setup for cameras is literally to take our camera, which is our main camera, and drag this into our player object. So this means that whenever our player moves, our camera will move. And I'm just going to hit play to show you what the effect is. So whenever we move forward, our camera moves with it. Which is fair enough. The problem with this is that the camera is really static. There's no kind of nice, easy movements. And it's, it's not a great setup, really. It's for extremely rapid prototype, it's fine. But we want to actually have something that's a bit more fluid, okay? So... This is going to be done. I'm just going to take that camera out. I'm just going to drag it and pull it back out again. So to do that, we actually need to now set up a new graph. And this new graph is going to be for our level. And we're going to be using this quite a lot. So we've currently made a U script or a graph for our player. And this is specific to this prefab or object. But now we also have this object called U script. And we can add in a graph. And that will contain all of our level. Uh, behaviors or events um, and this is really for any kind of level rule such as health mechanics scoring uh, the user interface um, level objectives okay so everything that's going to happen in the level any kind of level specific events or actions will be in this kind of graph so let's bring up uscript tools and uscript editor or you can press ctrl and u now you'll notice by default it brings up our player script which is applied to our our cube so we actually want a new graph so we're going to hit file and new and we're going to hit file and save and we're going to call this level uh, script so this is all the kind of scripts that are going to happen within our level we're going to hit save now again we're going to get this really important object or sorry box and in this case we are actually going to press yes okay and it's going to compile and I'm going to show you what happened here. I'm going to press on X. And I'm going to click on our level object. And what you'll see is that the level script has actually been applied to this object. And this is basically going to be any kind of rule that happens within the scene um, as opposed to an individual object. They still kind of work the same, only this is for any kind of level specific events. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back in the U script. We can hit Control and U. Or we can go up the tools new script and just make sure that you are on the level script you can actually see that we can flick between these which is really really nice so on to level script now what we're going to have is we're going to have um, we're going to basically check the location of our player we're going to see where our player is and then we're going to say to our camera okay camera move to wherever the player is over a certain amount of time okay so we need to do this check, we need to do this function every time the game frame is processed. So this is called um, famously as the update function. So on a update, and an update is basically every frame. And the amount of frames in a game are uh, it's specific to what kind of platform you're, you're building on, but typically there are 60 frames in a second. So the game's actually being processed 60 times a second. So we're going to go into here and we're just going to search for update. And we want the events, game events, global update. So this is going to fire an event um, every frame. So we're just going to click on this. And we get something like this. Now before we actually start doing anything, I just want to show you something that's really, really handy. We're going to go to uh, view. And let me see. View and preferences. Sorry, view and snap to grid our little nodes now snap to the the the, uh, the grid spaces which is quite handy something i forgot to show you in the last video okay so on update we want to do something and this is going to get a bit technical so just bear with me we first of all need to get the position of our cube so to do this we're going to type in uh, get position uh, da, 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 da. get position from a transform now if you remember in the previous video 
we talked about transforms. A transform is basically a translation or move, rotation or a scale. So we're going to get our position from a transform. So basically we want to know exactly where the position of the cube is on X, Y and Z. And you can actually see if we click our player, we have an option called transform. So we're going to find out what these values are. So the camera knows where to go to because the camera could go anywhere in the game. And we're going to plug this up first. So we're going to plug the U into U and we can have this looking all really nice. The target is going to be the player. So we need to actually get this target in. And the easiest way to do that is we just select our player and we just drag them in. That's all it is. And we want to place this variable as a transform. Okay, and you'll see that it, it's like a white little circle. And this is a variable. <coughs> Excuse me. And what the variable does is it stores information such as numbers or letters or true and false statements. Um, but what this is storing is a transform value um, of the player. So it's trans it's saving the X, Y, and Z positions and rotations and so on. So we're going to link our target into player. So now the game knows exactly where the player is. Okay. It knows where it is, but it doesn't know what to do with it. Okay. So what we need to do is we actually need to store this into a value. Okay. An X, Y, and Z value. And this is called a vector three in, in Unity. And all a vector three is, is three, uh, three numbers, an X, Y, and a Z number. So what we need to do is we need to add a variable. So we're going to go to add variables and we're going to hit vector three. And what this is, it's, again, it's just a blank piece of data, similar to this, only now this is the transform values of our player. And it's going to process that into a position file. And that's stored into a blank vector three variable. So we're going to drag our position into here. And so wherever our player is, it's going to say, okay, the player is zero, 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 or it might be two, three, one, whatever. So we're going to test this out and I'll just show you what's going to happen. I'm going to go file and save. And I'm just going to make this a bit smaller like so. And I'm just going to hit play. So as this is playing, I'm going to click on this object here. So this is on every frame. It's, it's taken our player. It's getting its transform values, which is zero, 0 0.5 and zero and it's putting it into this blank file. And you'll see that its value is 0, 0 0.5, 0. So now whenever I start to move, when I start to move my player, watch what happens to this value. It's now updating on every frame. It's saying, okay, this is where our player is. That's where our player is now. That's where our player is now. That's where our player is now. So on and so forth. So you can see how that kind of works. Okay. Which is really, really handy. You can see it keeps moving in the Z value. It's not moving on X because we can't move from side to side yet. And on the, the Y value, it's not moving either because no, at no point in our game do we want our player to actually move up or down on the Y value. I, we don't want it to move. Um, we don't want it to jump or, or crouch. Okay. So currently that's what's happening, which is all well and good. Okay. So for the next part. So now we want to actually move our camera to this location okay so to do this we're going to type in move to location we're going to select this guy here so with this node uh, we have a target and the target is going to be our main camera so let's just bring our main camera in just moving our screen and dragging in our main camera like so we're going to place this as a game object because the target is purple meaning that it needs a game object variable like so or data so we're just going to drag our main camera in. Our end location is going to be this guy here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag our end location into this. We want the camera to move roughly to wherever the player is. And then we've got something called transition time. And this is the really cool thing with this node is that we can use a transition time. So instead of, if it's set to zero, it will automatically snap to wherever the player is, but we want to type in a value, a small time value of 0 0.2 so that it will gradually move to the, the player over 0 0.2 seconds, which is quick enough. Okay. 
and then all we need to do is drag this into this so this will actually happen after you get this uh, this uh, vector value so let's just clean this up and hit file and save okay now I'm just gonna close out of this and I'm gonna press play and you'll see what happens so now the camera actually moves to the exactly where the player is now this isn't what we want okay it's it's getting there what's happening is the the camera is physically sitting on top of the the player which is it's it's interesting you may need to do this at some point but we now need to actually offset the the player position so that the camera sits backwards a little bit okay so that's what the next what we're going to be doing next okay so let's just go back into U script so control and U and now we need a way to actually offset the um, the position, this position, okay. Now to do this is actually, it's a bit tricky and this is the tricky part of this this uh, this video, okay. So what we need to do is we need to take this value, 0, 0, 0, okay, and we need to manipulate it um, to certain properties. Now the main property we cannot change in this value is the Y position. So at the moment, it's taken a, a Y position of 0 0.5, which means that our camera will be chucked way down towards where the player is, okay? And so what we need to do is we now need to get the numbers of this and break them up a bit. So to do this, we need to get components. So we're just going to type this in. Get components, and we're going to type in vector after it. And what we want is the get components of a vector 3 object. I'm going to bring that in. So I'm just going to delete this link. Okay, I'm just going to click and delete it. I'm going to move you back to here. I'm going to delete this link too. And I'm going to link you up here. So we need to take this value, which is the player position, okay, and we need to get your individual X, Y, and Z properties. So we need to right click, click add, and we need to go to variables, and we need to get what's called a float. And what a float is, it's basically um, a number, any number that has a decimal place, which is perfect for the player position because it can include decimal places. So we're going to um, drag our X onto here, like so. Then we're going to Control and C and V to copy and paste that. Control and C to copy, Control and V to paste. Okay. And we can drag those in as well. Now, we don't actually need the Y because we're actually going to change the Y later on to a specific height value because we don't want our camera height to change. Again, this will make more sense when it's actually finished. So I'm just going to delete that out for the time being. We do need to hurry up, sorry, because this, this lesson's getting a bit long now. But at the moment now, we have our, uh, our values here. So now what we need to do is we now need to subtract some values okay we need to make sure that the the Z value of our camera isn't on top of the player okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in we're gonna go to um, the search bar I'm gonna hit subtract float we want to subtract some of these values so we're just gonna plug that in like so and we want to subtract let me just see here we want to take our Z value which is going to be A. So we're going to subtract our Z and we're going to subtract by another number. So I'm going to go hit add uh, variables. Uh, we need another float. We're going to subtract this by about, um, about two, just for the time being, maybe three, four. And then our result is going to be another float. So what's happening here, Z is the value of our camera's, um, let me just move this out of the way. Z is this, okay? Now by default, whenever it follows the player, it's gonna be set to kind of like here. So we need to actually subtract that value. So it will offset the, the camera backwards. And that's all that's happening is, whenever it gets that position, it's gonna be around here. Our, Z, our Y is not gonna move anymore. And we're gonna keep our X to zero as well. So all that we're gonna offset is that 
the Z position. So as soon as we start subtracting that float, the camera will be placed around here instead. Okay, so that's what's happening there. So after we do that, I'm just going to move these backwards a wee bit because we're not finished just yet. We now want to um, take all these values and we now want to make a new vector three object. And this is called setting components. So we're going to type in set component vector three. So this is going to take all of these new floats that we've made, x, y, and z, and it's going to output it into a new vector similar to this. And then that will be fed into this location for our camera. Okay. So for x, we don't actually want x to be moved. Okay, I'm just going to type in x as 0 so that it's aligned perfectly to our player. For the y position, we're going to set up the height for our camera. Okay, so we're just going to do this manually like so. I might just move it on z as well. So the y position is, we're just going to type in 4. We always want it to be 4. So I'm just going to add a new uh, vector 3. Oops, sorry, not vector 3. What am I doing? Which went up there? Well, we do want a new vector 3, actually. <clears throat> it's going to put you here. We want to add a variable called a float. So for the x value, we always want that to be 0. Or we could just type in, or we could just use this value, which is the x position of our player. And that's probably more... Uh, of what we want. So I'm just going to drag you into you. So that's the X position of our player. Under Y, we always want that to be zero. So we're going to plug Y into that. And for our Z value, we're going to use this result, which was our current Z value of the player, wherever he is on the Z axis. It's going to be offset by four. So it's going to take that value, bring it back like so. And as a result, is this. So we're just going to plug you into that and then it's going to output this into a new vector which is this guy here. So we're plugging that into there and then we're going to plug that into our move to location and using this as the end location. Okay so that's quite a that's quite a big process that you may need to look at again okay and I'll explain it once more what's happening. So every frame, it's looking at the target of our player, it's outputting that into a vector 3. And then originally it was going to move the camera to that. However, instead of doing that, we're going to see the values of the player location. Okay, so the x is usually uh, 0 because we can't move an x just yet. Y, we don't need y at all because we always want the camera to be in a certain height. Okay, we don't want the height to change. Later on we might, but at the moment we don't. And then just the Z value that we want to change. We don't want the camera to be on top of the player. We want it to be behind the player a little bit. So we subtract the, the value of that Z value. And then we output this into a new vector. Okay, so hopefully I've explained that okay. So we're just going to save that. File and save. And then we're just going to close that off and we're going to hit play. Whoops, something's happened there. It's going to hit pause or stop. And I'm just going to hit control and U. Sorry, under Y, we just want to make sure that is set to 4. My bad. Go file and save. And play. So now whenever I move forward, you can see that now the camera starts to follow the player, but it's offset by that 4 value. Whenever we move back, it moves back with it. Okay, so that is our basic camera now set up so that it's, it's kind of fluid. It follows the player and it has that transition time as well. Okay, so I understand that was quite a technical process, but Whenever you actually wrap your head around it, whenever it starts, hopefully it starts to make sense to you, okay? If you have any questions, feel free to ask them as well, okay? So, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.